What you guys got another video here for you on how to find out if your Windows product key is genuine. I get this asked all the time when people buy product keys and they don't know whether they're buying genuine product keys and how to tell. So if your operating system has been installed and you've now activated it, you should see something like this saying your Windows is activated. But how can you tell what key it is and what key you purchased? Now, a lot of people will activate Windows illegally and they'll use those scripts that you can find online. And they normally are volume keys. There's standard VLK keys. There's the key management service, which is the KMS keys. And then you've get the multiple activation keys, the Mac keys. And these are all different types of keys that are used to activate Windows. These are generally used by companies so if your system is activated with a volume key and you're a home user, then you're more likely using a pirated version of Windows. If you're a company and uh, the company has uh, activated your machine at work, then obviously this would be OK. But let's take a look here by typing this command in. When you type this command in, it will tell you what key it is. So if you're seeing the volume KMS client here, and this is a home PC, then you've obviously run some sort of script or you've purchased a PC with it already pre-activated from, say, eBay or something like that, and they've used this method to activate their version of Windows. You may just see vol there or volume key there. You also can see the Mac keys there. You can see a bunch of different information depending on what type of key you have on your system, but it's not good if you're a home user and you have that system. You really do need to upgrade your uh, key and get a proper key. So this is another uh, key that you can find, which is a retail key. These retail keys can be purchased. And basically this means that it's not locked to that system. You can deactivate this, which I'll show you a bit later on in the video and use this on a brand new PC. If you're getting rid of this PC, you can deactivate Windows and reactivate it on another system. It's not tied to that one computer. You can only use it and install it on one computer at any one time. But basically, these are pretty much genuine keys which you can purchase. These are more expensive because they can be transferred from one computer to another at any one time. If you purchase cheap license keys, you'll normally see this particular license key, which is an OEM key. And this is a digital media key. When you buy pre-built systems, these are the keys that are normally activated on that system. And these keys also are for companies that build lots of PCs. They generally use OEM keys on these. Once you buy this key and you activate it, it will be locked to that computer. You cannot reuse it. So if you swap out the motherboard or you swap out the CPU or some sort of hardware change on that computer, you can lose your activation. You'll probably find when you reboot the system that your activation key has been deactivated and now you've lost the activation on that system. You would then have to go and purchase another key. Now, if your key was a retail key, then obviously you will not have an issue of changing out the motherboard. It would still be able to activate it with your retail key. Now, the OEM underscore DM keys, which are your OEM uh, digital media keys. These are the keys that you're purchasing on the internet, which are cheap OEM keys, which you can find all over the internet. Now you can also use software like Microsoft PID Checker, which will basically check the product key. And it will also see whether the key status is valid, whether it's a val valid key or whether it's invalid. You can also see that it does give you some other information, what type of key it is. And uh, also it will tell you some other information on there, whether it's retail OEM or whether it's a volume key or anything like that. And you can check all that information out using something like Microsoft PID Checker. Obviously, if your key doesn't check out properly, you can always either report it to Microsoft and head over to their counterfeit software report and make a report over here. You have to use all your real name, address and everything else like that to uh, basically give your information to them. Or you can take it back to the reseller who you bought it off of and try to get your money back that way. Another thing you can do is check the activation time to see how long the activation time is on that key. It should say permanently if you have a legit key, if it's on a timer or using some sort of volume key, it may have a certain time scale for activation and it will tell you that information here. You can see this one is permanently activated. Another thing you can do is if you have a retail key, 
you can uninstall that key and use it on another system when you buy a new PC. So for instance, you can uninstall your product key by using this command, and this will allow you to uninstall that key from that system. You have to do this, otherwise it will be locked to that system. You need to uninstall that product key and then remove all of the information from the registry and then basically you'll be able to reuse that key on your other machine if you wanted to transfer the key over to a new machine. So basically what I'll do here is I'll quickly show you how to remove the information from the registry. And uh, this is an essential part, so this cleans all the registry out. There we go, the product key from the registry cleaned successfully. And now you can use that key on another system and it would then be locked to that system and you would have to repeat that process if you want to go back to the other system okay so that's basically how you can retransfer your key to a new machine now if you do want to quickly check the status of your activation once you've uninstalled it you can go back into your settings and then go into activation and you should see that your system has now been deactivated it's not activated anymore and you can now reuse that retail key that you purchased now, if you do have a volume key or you've used some sort of dodgy way of activating Windows in the past and you want to go legit, then the best thing to do is unactivate it this way and then go and get yourself a proper legitimate key and then reactivate the system properly. That way you're not using a pirated version of Windows, which is never a good thing. Uh, they're not that expensive. You can always pick these up and uh, basically activate Windows in the correct way by entering your new product key here or basically taking your key to a new machine and reactivating it in this way by changing the product key and pasting in the key that you've just uh, uninstalled there. And then you can just uh, basically push next and then activate Windows in the way that you've done before. So basically just hit the activation button and this will activate your version of Windows. Now, if you don't activate Windows, you can still use Windows uh, 10 and Windows 11 without activation. You just basically get some restrictions. You don't get access to uh, the personalization area on your computer, and you will be restricted with certain things like that. But other than that, you can still use the operating system without activating it. It just means you'll get a watermark, and you may get the odd nag box popping up telling you to activate Windows, and that is pre pretty much it. Just educate yourself on licensing and licensing keys and where to get them from, and you should be pretty much good to go. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.